Hey, good afternoon, everybody, and welcome to The Daily Profile. I'm Corbs. This is an after-trading stream that we do every single day-ish, Monday through Thursday, where we jump into the charts and we take a look at what exactly had happened in the markets. Formerly a trading stream, or it's actually a pre-recorded video now, as I find myself still being frowned upon by the internet gods and the bandwidth here cannot support a stream, but we progress. If you guys are in the building with me, a big hello to everybody. This is normally the slide where we jump in and I see who's in the building with me, but since we're on pre-recorded, we just put this slide up now to remember the good days, fond memories of when we all used to be together. But if you guys are in the building with me, jump in the chats. Still tell me what's up. I'll read them after. If this is your first time jumping on, uh, I should say watching the recording, big welcome to you. I hope you plan on sticking around. It's a good spot to come after the trading day. We decompress, talk about the good, we talk about the bad. I usually give you some thoughts for your thoughts. Uh, today, I'm going to be struggling with the thoughts for your thoughts. I'll start off this recording by asking a question. What the actual hell happened today? Anybody got an answer for me with this one? What a busted session. We're going to talk about it. Let's dive in and see what's going on. Uh, as we're starting off, to the six or seven of you who already hit the like button, I know who you are. Mwah. I love you guys all equally. To the rest of you who are in the building that did not, hmm, let's hit the like button as we jump in. Okay, we're looking at the S&P right now, and oh yeah, 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 what an awful, awful session. Okay, we're looking at about 35 points worth of range. The S&P opened up right about where we left off in the previous session. Pretty volatile morning, putting in about that 35 points of, of range fairly early. Um, and then things started to quiet down a bit and get very choppy. Now, this is not that unusual when we're dealing with something like the, let's say, FOMC minutes coming up. We also have some big news tomorrow, which I'm sure is what massively affected all of this action today. Um, but kind of having that initial volatility and then stalling out in front of the news, these are very normal things, okay? But as the news came out at two o'clock, nothing really changed. The, the, the volatility did not necessarily really pick up. Uh, we just stayed inside of this awful, awful grind. And interestingly today, we never broke the initial balance high or the initial balance low. Something I'll track on my charts always is the, this blue and red line. Um, these are on all, all of these, this 15 minute chart that we're looking at. And this just is not the high and low of day, but this is the high and low of the first hour of the regular trading session. And the reason I marked that off is because it is extremely likely that that first hour's range is going to get broken. And multiple times throughout, uh, trading sessions, it surfaces in a way to where I can use that as an extremely likely target, or it helps me understand at least maybe something that's likely to happen next, uh, Today, this caused me a massive source of frustration because I was fully expecting that we were going to get broken one way or the other because it was the most likely thing to happen, but no such luck today. Whenever we have something that's a bit of a statistical anomaly, these are usually days where I don't do the best because I'm usually aligned with the opposite of that because I usually try to align myself with what's most likely to happen next, as we all do. Ending out this session for myself, Ending out the session for myself, a little over 11 points down on the day, just over $550 down. And interesting the way that this shaped up for me. Uh, starting off the session, I, I dove in, tried a couple of trades. Everything was just being extremely choppy and choppy in a way that I, I couldn't I couldn't really see myself having an edge in this. I tried something. Uh, my first trade, it didn't quite work out. Took a little bit of profit. The second trade that I put on just went strictly against me. After seeing a couple trades and sitting on it for about 45 minutes or so, I could just tell this action is not being favorable at all. And in those moments, it's very easy to kind of want to force something, but I took a break from the screens, got off, and then came back for two o'clock to see if, you know, how we were going to react with the minutes coming out, see if that was going to shake anything up. And then coming back from uh, the minutes, what ended up happening is I just overstayed my welcome. There was multiple trades that I was involved with where I was looking for that higher low of day to get broken, um, and it just never happened. So part of me kind of overstaying my welcome, I think there was two main things I was dealing with. One is not as interesting, but I was just waiting for that higher low of day to get broken. And the second thing that I was really struggling with today was falling into this trap of not being not being happy or not being willing to take profits where I should because I was down. And this is a very horrible dynamic. And I think we all struggle with this, where if we are in a position of 
already break even or if we are up on the day and we have those moments to take profit, it is unbelievably easier to do so. And then if we find ourselves in a position where we are down on the day, when I find myself in a position when I'm already down on the day, uh, it, it becomes very difficult to want to take those profits. And what it boils down to is this bias of feeling like I have something to lose. And so now I want to take more risks. Uh, this is a very, very normal thing for us all to struggle with. When we don't feel like we have something to lose, we are much more comfortable not taking risks. And when we feel like we have something to lose, then we're much more apt to want to take risks. Uh, the way that this surfaces, if you find yourself up a little bit on the day, it's much easier just to walk away with that for most of us. And if you find yourself down on the day, you it's very difficult to, to not want to just stay on the screens and to keep trading. Um, I think this is a big reason why the rich tend to get rich and the poor tend to get poor. Because most people that are wealthy start every single day and they live their life not in a state of feeling like they have something to lose. So they don't do crazy things and get involved with crazy schemes and stuff because they don't need to. And then people that are poor start every single day with this idea of they have something to lose and, uh, and, and they're, they take abnormal risk on things. Um, but it's, it's something very deep inside of us. And I was struggling with this today. I knew, and if you go back and if you look at this action, and if you look at the ranges that we were stuck in, and if you found yourself thinking uh, or getting chopped out a lot by this or having a hard time understanding how this was moving today, feeling like it was moving differently, um, seeing it go to like places and look like it was getting ready to take off and then it would just stop dead in its tracks and start moving backwards and then stop dead in its tracks. What we were seeing in that range that we were stuck in today was algorithm, algorithmic behavior just running rampant. If you need an example of that or if you're not familiar with what that looks like, this is what it looks like absolutely awful, nasty type action. Um, it was just running rampant today. And I knew that. And as we got to those extremes of range, instead of locking in those trades and erring on the side of just locking in those profits because they were, they were presented, um, I was having a very good, difficult time doing that. And I was trying to hold on for that bigger move that was going to take us through the initial balance. And that was going to, you know, bring me into the green really nicely on the day. Uh, and it was just the wrong move. The move today was taking advantage of that nasty chop that we were stuck in and not waiting for some type of a bigger move that eventually never ended up coming in. And drilling this down to overstaying my welcome, why did I overstay my, you know, keep kind of drilling down to the root of this. I can guarantee you if I had started this day up as those situations presented themselves, it would have been incredibly easy just to keep locking in those profits and to grind out a beautiful day today. But because I had started the session down, as we got to those areas where I could have been locking in profit, um, I, I was overstaying my welcome and letting those trades roll back on me. And even some of those going from green, turning back into red, it was you know extremely sloppy on my part. But I can definitely identify that I fell into... Uh, a bit of that error and a bit of that trap of just feeling like I've got something to lose here because I was down on the day and it really caused me to take some unnecessary risks when the profits were there, risking the fact that it was going to keep pushing through and I was going to have a bigger trade instead of just locking these things in. Uh, interesting, the world of trading that we live in and how we just have so many of these biases that just surface in different areas. And even in some cases where we know what to do. I knew that this was just being algo driven today. And I knew as we got to those extremes, I should be taking off these trades. Um, but I still found that incredibly difficult. And I can guarantee you, if I didn't start off the day down, it would have been incredibly easy to just lock those things in. Uh, wild what we deal with, but this is the life we chose. And we work through these things and we try to improve upon these things. It's the name of the game and uh, we keep progressing. So I'm assuming what's happening today is we have bigger news coming out tomorrow. We're going to have some news coming up uh, tomorrow morning before the market opens. So tomorrow morning will be one of those rare times that I'll be on the screens before the market opens. Normally, it's not my thing. I stick to regular trading hours, but on certain circumstances, tomorrow being one of those, um, the potential for some outsized moves 
on the news. I'm not so sure that we get that, but the potential is definitely there. And so I'll want to be on the screens just to be able to take advantage of any of those things if and when they surface. Okay, so that's what I'll plan on doing tomorrow. Uh, the ending the day down, not tragic or anything like that, uh, but definitely beat up mentally. I am exhausted right now. I spent a lot of time on the screens, especially the last couple hours just felt like a couple of days. Uh, held on to a lot of trades, had a lot of trades working, held on to a lot of trades that rolled back on me. Just a brutal thing to keep myself sitting through. But again, it's the life we chose. What are you going to do? Okay, um, let's go ahead and wrap it up right there. I don't have too much else to say. I don't think I can formulate too many more words. I need a proper break from the screens, so I'm going to get off myself. Um, but if you guys are going to be on the screens between now and the next time I see you, which will be back tomorrow at this same exact time, ish, depending on when I can get this uploaded. Uh, I'm going to wish you very happy trading. Let's all hit the like button on the way out. You guys can drop me a comment if you're in the building with me. And I will talk with you guys on the next one. Be well. Happy trading, everybody.